Hello my soccer universe. Curiously enough, at the end of the international break, Puma have dropped their five European national team jersey sets for the five teams that uh, they currently have. Actually, if you consider it, Puma are the defending champions since Italy won them, but since then they have lost the Italy deal. They also have lost Euro Uruguay, so they're basically African and mid-ranging European nations which I find on one side weird, on the other side also a little bit sad if you were to ask me. But of course, I want to give you a reaction on these jerseys as well, uh, as I've done for Adidas already and as I've done already for Nike and I made a whole big thing. Now, the curious part is of course to release it because why not use this international break now to uh, release the new jerseys and have them shown like Adidas and Nike did. Uh, it's basically they come at the end of it. I have a theory because I know it personally. We have an international break for the women's game coming up where all these nations will be featuring. In fact, I will be at the debut for the Austrian national team jersey when the women take on Germany in Linz right here. So I think they want to send a kind of a different message there. I still find it a little bit weird because those are the jerseys for the Euros. But we have seen before a uh, little bit of a mix there. First things first, when I look at these jerseys, I'm amazed of how ordinary they are. This is not Puma. I mean, Puma came out at the last years with these uh, types of, of jerseys. They had no crest whatsoever. They came out at, at the World Cup with the Avengers with all these boxes in there. Uh, they have also, they had also the crafted by culture line and, and so on. Puma have always been kind of pushing things a little bit. I think the last time the Puma were kind of, kind of, a little bit boring uh, was in 2016. Personal opinion, but I think the Puma jerseys are nice. So I think none of the jerseys that we're looking in here are really bad, but none of them are also really exciting. They're for me the Switzerland of the jersey releases so far. Also, is not helped that of the five teams, four have red home jerseys. All of them have white away jerseys. So we get only the Iceland splash uh, in blue. Iceland have not even qualified, which is kind of a downer. Uh, when we look at the jerseys by themselves, I mean, uh, just a few things that um, stick out. We have colors, nothing crazy. It's a modular color. I mean, there's a V-neck. You can have a crew recruiting zone, but, but they all are in sections for some uh, teams. It's fully colored for others. It's, uh, you know, two, two colors. I prefer the fully colored one, but that's that. Then we have a front panel that kind of gets thinner on the uh, towards the bottom. And then I think the outstanding feature is that starting on the sides, there's a band going towards the back that kind of holds the numbers. Uh, you see it here with the Czech Republic on the back. Uh, it looks a little bit weird uh, because it comes out of nowhere. I would love to see also the new font for Puma that I cannot really com uh, comment on. Uh, I would say let's go alphabetically through the five releases and I give you very quick, quickly, quickly my thoughts. We'll start in my home country. Austria, uh, the new Austria home jersey. I mean, at first I think, yeah, this is what the Austria home jersey should look like. Maybe the pattern that's on there is a little bit too out there, but it doesn't detract from the overall feel that this is a classic Austria, a classic red Austria jersey. Um, and when I say classic red, because you know it hasn't red have hasn't been the home color before 2004, so I always struggle with that still. Yes, the old the crest, we should go back to the old one if you ask me. I don't like this one, but this is now an old trope of mine. Uh, the pattern on there, yeah, I think uh, it has been said this is inspired by Art Nouveau. To me, it looks a little bit more like a Hundertwasser theme, but it's arty inspired. Uh, I don't know, they say something about uh, combining tradition and modernity. I think the tradition is basically the way this jersey looks and the modernity is the pattern on, on there. Um, for some reason I keep seeing uh, whales popping out of the water and stone whales. That's uh, stone dolphins <laughs> or whatever. Uh, it's a little bit weird. There are a whole lot of eyes on there. Which probably should be windows, I guess, if this is the... As I said, uh, it has a hundred watts of feel to me in, in a way, but overall I think it's a decent jersey, nothing exciting. The away jersey, uh, when I saw it at, at first, this looks classic Austria away jersey. 
or classic Austria white jersey, I should just say, because white was the traditional home color. But they added an interesting uh, effect with the turquoise, which has been now associated with Austria, and I'm not quite sure why. Uh, the pattern is supposedly a reinterpretation of the feathers of the eagle. I think that's a crop, uh, a whole lot of bullcrap, but on the other side, I think it doesn't look all that bad. I think it's an interesting twist. Yeah, the turquoise band on the back is maybe a little bit off. But overall, I think the Austria jerseys are just what they should be. Nothing too exciting and maybe adding a little twist that you may like or dislike. I think the Czech Republic, uh, they are the first ones that were officially released. And at the same time, they leaked all the other jerseys as well, which I found really funny. Uh, that might overall be probably the best uh, with the effect. You know, you have the Czech Republic crest tilted and then all over the front side. Which I think is a really cool effect. The only downside for me is that the color doesn't isn't all blue around. But I think this this is a relatively strong jersey. The away jersey I see is a plain white one. I'm sure there's some pattern on there. I cannot may make it out, but yeah, classic check away jersey. Uh, you know, it doesn't need to be much more if you were to ask me. Uh, I keep going back and forth through the number on it to be white or red. Probably red because there's a whole lot of blue uh, accents otherwise so to have all the national colors in there. Iceland the one uh, team that is not at, at the Euros also have a quite an interesting color uh, and this is the one that sticks out. still think that the Iceland crest uh, could use a teeny bit more red. Um, the pattern on there yeah it's probably I see swirly over, over there I think it's cool. On the other side uh, it's relatively average jersey. The only thing that really sticks out is leaf cups and a little bit the color, which probably should wrap around. Uh, the away jersey, yeah, the colors are a little bit off. I, I would say this grayish, brownish for Iceland, I would prefer blue, but then, you know, you gotta make a little bit splash there as well. Let's go over to Serbia. Uh, Serbia, hmm, I don't know what this pattern is supposed to be, uh, but it's a gradient pattern. It, they still use the new Serbia crest which uh, people seemingly don't like in Serbia honestly I think it's fine it's potentially even improvement over the uh, over the old one but you know uh, who am I to judge uh, this weird gradient pattern adds some in the interest it's maybe the one jersey has also a little bit of a darker red but again nothing really exciting I like the blue sleeve, sleeve cuffs if they would have made a blue collar it would have probably a Czech Republic jersey so it just is about a Serbia jersey right there and uh, the away jersey, I think, adds an interesting twist by recoloring the crest. You have the V collar. Again, I would like that it, that it wraps around all the way. Uh, but the sleeve cuffs are really outstanding. And then we'll end it with the Switzerland. The first one that has leaked. Uh, the Swiss jersey, again, should be inspired by traditional clothing somehow. I like the pinstripe effect on there. I, uh, it, the one thing is that Switzerland have, have been going now for a two-tone red with... Uh, white accents which i'm not so sold on to be honest and i also think that instead of the swiss flag put uh, around around the logo there uh, because this is what traditional the swiss have been using i just have the cross on there don't outline the flag i think this to me is a little bit of a lost uh part but again i'm not swiss maybe the swiss would like to have it this way uh, also note that the two uh, confederation logo the confederation logo and the flag are on there so the double logo which puts the Puma uh, in the middle. I think the base design is okay. As I said, the red accent is a little bit weird. The one on the bottom together with this side on uh, in white actually creates an interesting effect on the back, but I think on the collar it looks weird. Uh, the away jersey adds for some reason blue in there, but I think this is like a map effect in there as well, if you, if you, if you would like. Um, the blue is probably not very Swiss to me, but then, you know, um, Austria <laughs> also have black and white, but that's actually a, a, a traditional color. Overall, I have to say, when I look, look at these jerseys, uh, we see that the home home jerseys are all either red or blue, and the away jerseys are white and completely devoid as the main accent color of red. Yes, there's a federation crest that can, can, that can be red, but I find this relatively curious. And this adds kind of the uniformity of these jerseys. What do you think about this? I honestly have to say, none of 
as I said before, they are very nu neutral. If I would grade them, I think all of them would get fives or sixes. Maybe there's a four in there. Switzerland home, potentially. But it's all all right. There's nothing really wrong, but there's also nothing really outstanding there. For me, probably the most outstanding is probably the Austria away jersey. Uh, because it has a classic look, but then it adds a little bit to it. Uh, you know, the last Austria away jersey I liked was this one at Euro 2016, which I knew the moment it was released I have to get, and I duly got. Uh, and you know, there was also the Switzerland away jersey here that was really, really outstanding. Switzerland have, have produced anything more exciting than uh, that ever. So there you go. That's my opinion. I would like to hear yours. Now we have the big three releases. Uh, I think Georgia will stay with the Macron shirts, um, which I think think is okay. We have seen already Denmark. Uh, I think, let's put them in here as well, I think both Denmark jerseys look quite nice. Um, like Puma, nothing really exciting. I think that there's a cool effect in there that, that the name of uh, all the club teams of Denmark in there, but at least I'm happy that Hummel is not regurgitating either the 86 or the 92 jerseys. Well, of the non-Nike, Adidas and Puma teams, uh, let me add a little bit more. We have Albania will also most likely stay with their actually really nice Macron jerseys. I'm really high on those ones. I like them even better than the ones for Georgia. I think the Georgia ones have some uh, interest to them. We have Romania staying with their Homa kits that they have been having. I honestly have to say this is not bad because they look also quite nice. I don't know what Ukraine will do. Ukraine have been having the same kits since the last Euro. So, uh, yes, they have a Ukraine outline on there, which for obvious reasons is probably right, very popular at the moment. But will this be another North Macedonia CA situation? So uh, that remains to be seen. So those are two Homa nations. We have two Macron nations in Albania and Georgia. We, uh, we already talked about Denmark. But we also have two Nike teams uh, or potential Nike teams. I, that have not released new jerseys, which are, of course, Slovakia and Slovenia. So uh, I really hope they get new jerseys. I would assume it's team wear that will be a little bit spruced up. So that uh, remains to, to be seen, which would make me rather sad. I think we might have another Canada situation here on our hands. But yeah, that's about it for the moment. In any case, let me know what you thought about these shirts. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!